everybody, I am Re from Mummy of Four and I help busy mums get organised and make their lives easier with parenting tips, tricks, hacks and advice. Um, just if you jump on and you can see me, just drop me a hello in the comments. Um, lovely to see that it's actually working. Uh, today we are talking all about sleep and how we all need more of it. You want your clip back in? How we all need more of it and how we can all get more of it. Both adults and babies. So, do you want to talk about that? We can talk about sleep? What do you want? You want a drink? Do you want a drink? This is Zara. And this is Bella. Bella, say hello. Hello, there we go. Oh, and Zara's saying hello too. Um, so yeah, they're going to be joining me today and hopefully they're going to behave themselves so that I can talk to you. So sleep. Um, obviously, as a parent... Sleep is something that we don't necessarily have enough of. There are two reasons for this. Um, there's the obvious, the baby keeping you awake, which is one whole topic I could talk about all day, how we can get babies, encourage them gently to sleep a little more in the night so that we can too. Is it time to eat banana? Okay, Zara would like a snack. She's seen a snack, so I'm going to put her in my chest. Okay, you can have a snack too. Sorry guys, we're going to put the girls... You put your stuff away then and you can have a little snack. My stuff can go all the way down. My stuff can go all the way down. Okay, sweetheart. My stuff can go all the way down. Okay, darling, mommy's talking to these nice people for a minute. Do you think you can just be a good girl for mommy? Put all your stuff away and mommy give you a snack. Right, so yeah, the, the first thing that keeps us awake is obviously our children. Um, but... The biggest, a bigger problem than that, if I could say there's a bigger problem than that, can be when you finally have the opportunity to go to sleep and that time is wasted because you can't fall straight to sleep. So what you realise when you become a parent is sleep is a, like the most precious commodity. It's more precious than, than gold or whichever other commodity, you know, whichever other things are really more precious, you know money, bitcoin, whatever it is at the moment, but sleep is something that you just can't get enough of, so you don't want to waste it, so if you were given an opportunity to go to sleep, if your children finally let you sleep, you need to make sure that you're actually going to get every minute worth of sleep that you're capable of getting. Hello. See, true blue Peter the style, I figured the girls would want a snack, so here's one I prepared earlier, you want to pick one, do you? Yeah. you want this one? Yeah. Okay, Got that there. Bella, will you go and grab yourself a little bit for mummy? So, so it's not all the food in your dress. Go on then. You want your snack too? Right. The girls are just about set. I can get it by you. You can get it by your own. Can you do me by yourself? By me, with myself. It's bad language. Right, pop this bib on, and mummy's going to finish easy, finally easy, talking easy, to these people. Easy peasy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. <laughs> Arms in. Good job. Right. So, like I said, when you finally are given the opportunity to go to sleep, there are certain things you can do to make sure that you can actually get every tiny bit of sleep that you are owed. Now, the things I'm going to talk about today will work for you, but they will also work for your children as well. So, oh, hi, Kaylee. Thank you for joining. Um, pop, um, uh, by the way, I will go back through the comments. So if I miss any of the comments, I will head back. Um, and check those out um, at the end of this broadcast because sometimes they don't always come up from using Ecamm for Facebook so they don't always show up straight away. So I'm not ignoring you, I promise, Alma. I shall respond to everything at the end. Right, so the first thing that is super, super important, um, oh, Helen says she loves the easy mat, mini prepared with food. Yeah, I know, these things are awesome. Bella actually said she wanted the pink one today. Can you see here? It's just behind my, behind my, like, there we go. You can see that there. These sticky mat. things are awesome. Mat. I will mat. pop a link down below mat. for those. Mat. The mat, they are matching. You've both got pink ones, haven't you? <laughs> right. She loves you, Mum. She's pointing at you. I'm she so glad that she yellow. loves you. She's pointing at yellow. That's very lovely, darling. Do you think you can eat your snacks so and Mummy could, Mummy could just, um, oh no. You, you, <laughs> just throwing bananas on the floor. Right. So, a few minutes into the broadcast, we're finally going to get around to talking about what we want to do. No, don't. So, pick it up at the end. You eat your food now, okay? Right. 
So, the first thing that is super, super important is darkness. Now, this might sound obvious, but it's more, it's just so important. If your bedroom is not dark enough, you are not going to get all the sleep that you deserve. You deserve this sleep, okay? So, basically, it's, um, there's a hormone produced in your brain that um, is produced um, at the absence of light. So, back in, you know the dark ages, and by the dark ages I just mean before electricity, we would all have this hormone naturally produced because we wouldn't have artificial lights, we certainly didn't have screens and things. Um, so this, as the evenings drew in and it became darker and darker, this hormone would naturally produce in everybody's brains and then everyone would naturally go to sleep. So the problem is now we've got artificial lights, we've got street lights, we've got, you know, indoor lights, and then you've got all your screens and things. So even though darkness approaches, well, our brains don't necessarily get the signal. That's very nice, darling. You, you want an apple, do you? There we go. You have it. Do you want a drink? She doesn't want a drink either. Great. It's so doing super well today, everybody. Right. Can I finish talking, please? Anyway, so this hormone that is produced at the absence of light. <laughs> a banana. Well, you've already had a banana. You want more banana? Do you want more? I want more. Of course you do. Sorry, I'm just having a chair. Sorry, I'm not want whatever. What's that? You want the banana here on the floor? You're not having bananas on the floor. Dad, you have this banana then. Thank you. At some point, I'm going to actually get round to finishing speaking. Okay. What do you want? I haven't got any more. Thank you. Sorry, I'm now emptying the contents of a tray into my hand. Right. So basically, as I was trying to say, I will have to edit this down so much if I ever want to actually post this on YouTube. Um, which is my intention. I normally post my live on YouTube, don't I? There we go. Right. So. Since the invention of artificial light, this is be this is wreaked havoc with our um, our body clocks. So our natural rhythm, um, sort of to wind down during the evening, is interrupted. So what we need to do is make sure our bedrooms are super super dark, so there's no street light creeping in. We are no longer most of us wanting to get up with daylight. You know, we're not um, back in the days where everyone was sort of needing to get up for farming reasons or whatever it might be. Most of us... Do you want that Bella's drink? She doesn't want that. She doesn't want whatever I'm offering you. Do you? Do you want a wipe? Wipe your face. You wipe your face. I want a wipe too. You have a wipe. Of course you do. Right. So basically, making sure our rooms are super, super dark um, and that we actually spend some time dimming the lights in the time approaching bedtime will make such a difference to your quality of sleep. It sounds something really, really simple. <laughs> anyway, it sounds super simple, but it's really, really important. So that is the first thing. That was my first point I wanted to get through. I've been like eight minutes in, I've got to one point. It's a very lovely song, darling. You eat your food and let mummy talk and then we'll go and play. Right. The next thing is routine. So we all, we'll talk about routine. You know, babies love routine. It helps them sleep. Adults love routine too. Well, we may not love it. We may not know we love it, but our bodies love it. So um, I would show you on my iPhone, but I'll tell you what. I'll see if I can bring it up on my iPad. Because my iPhone is easy to film on Instagram. As you can see on... I will link... You want this banana, do you? You don't want that banana. Which banana do you mean? Do you mean the orange that's a banana? You mean the orange, the banana that's an orange? That's an orange. Right. Okay. Sit in here then and we'll get you an orange. It's the problem with seeing too much. Too much choice, isn't you? Too much choice. Right. So on your, if, I don't know if, you, I'm sorry if you're on Android because I don't, I can't help you out here, but I know if you're on an iPhone, You've got the clock app on your phone, and it's got a setting called bedtime. I'm going to give this orange to my daughter who is freaking, and then I'm going to show you on my iPad. Ah, there you go. The one bit of snack I did not prepare for you, that's what you decided you wanted it. Right. 
So basically, there is a function on your iDevice which. Here we go. I'm going to see if you can see it. And it's called bedtime. And then you just press get started. And then you tell it what time you want to wake up every day. I don't know if you can see that. So say you want to wake up at 7 o'clock. So you press get started. Next. Which days of the week do you want the alarm to go off? So say you can just set it to Monday and Friday, Monday to Friday and not be so strict on the weekends. And next. And then you choose how much sleep you want every night. Now, how much sleep would you like? Be honest with me. Let me know in the comments. How much sleep would you like? Um, so say eight hours. I can't remember the last time I had eight hours sleep. I just did it to get work done. And then you set it to remind you before bedtime. So say 15 minutes before bedtime. Um, and then you choose the alarm. And this is not only acts as your alarm, but this also acts as your when you need to go to sleep reminder. Now this does not I need to practice what I preach really. But um, this goes off for me every night. And then uh, because it's the only time I can kind of get any work done, I ignore it and I carry on doing some work. And then I go to bed when I finish working. But um, in theory, <laughs> there you go. And then this will tell you how much sleep you need. You know, you can adjust it and it will change your wake up time and tell you what time you've got to go to bed. And if you listen to this, if you actually go to bed at the same time every night, Okay. So everyone can't give a mix of stuff. You eat your food, and then you can play these stickers. Um, right, so... Bleh, what was I even saying? Yeah, if you go to bed at the same time every night, you wake up at the same time every morning, you are more likely to have a better night's sleep. It's just a fact. A scientific fact. So, what's next? What else did I want to say to you? Right. Um, right, okay, so one thing that has made a massive difference to me, um, we got in a real habit, especially when I was pregnant, I felt rough all the time. It's a lovely song though, but do you think we can sing it later? Right, um, I got in a, this massive habit of just going to bed as soon as the children went to bed, and just watching TV in bed, and doing everything. Please may I have, or can I have? Please may I have. Please may I have. Good girl. Um, yeah, so I got in this habit of watching TV in bed, and the problem is then you're kind of in bed, but you're not sleeping. Now, I'm not saying never ever watch TV in bed, because that's just not going to happen, but if you get into the habit of just spending loads of time, you know, kind of like a teenager, just lounging around your bedroom, watching TV in bed, it's going to affect your sleep. So you're far better off, far better off getting, um, like watching TV downstairs or whatever you're going to do, and then when you go to bed, you keep the bedroom for sleeping or other adult activities you want to get up to in there. But you just, if you can ban electronics from the bedroom, you will get better night's sleep. Trust me. Um, so, yeah, since I've been sort of staying downstairs to get work done or watch TV or whatever, um, I sleep better. Um, and I bet if you let me know in the comments, if you've tried and tested this, you will too. Okay. So... The next thing I'm going to show you, which I'm going to, again, I'm going to show you on my iPad, um, is something called night shift mode on your iPad. So if you must use your electronics, again, help me out if you're on an Android and you know if they do this too. Um, I've put all this, by the way, all the, like, how to do all this stuff, it's in a blog post, which I have posted today on my Facebook page, um, <laughs> so you can head over to there to find it, but basically... You can adjust, I'm not sure if you can see that, you can adjust your screen settings to something called night shift mode. Now night shift mode, it's a very lovely song darling, but do you think you can stop singing it until mum's finished this? Um, so night shift mode. Bella, stop singing darling, don't you have to sing it? Are you going to play the piano or do you want to sit quietly? Okay, well I'll wipe your hands so you can go and play the piano in a minute. I don't want to sit Quietly. You sit quietly then, it's a really good idea. Right, so night shift mode. Again, right, I'm not sure. Right, you can sort of see that on Facebook. Can you see that on Instagram? Not sure. Um, basically, you can change um, you change the, the colouring on your uh, iPad or iPhone. I should, I'm going back, guys. I'm going to pause for a second. Would you lot prefer it if I switched my Facebook lifetime to a time where the girls were in, were having a nap? Because 
I'm not sure if I managed to get across any of the information I'm trying to say when they're awake. So let me know. Is that a life form is real now? Is it too real? Or am I better off just waiting till they're in bed? I'm doing my Facebook lives then. So if you guys could let me know in the comments, that would be excellent feedback. As to whether all this chaos, all the chaos is my life, is um, kind of in the way of it all or if it's helpful. Anyway. So the colour, it, what it does is it adjusts the, there's like screenshots on here. There we go. Um, that you can see. So it adjusts the colours on during these times to like a cooler, um, uh, like a different type of colour palette, if it makes sense. So there's less um, l bright light in your face. So even when you're using your device, it's not just dimmer, but it's kind of a different colour tone. Um, and Boffins at Apple have discovered that these, this particular um, sort of set of colours is better at um, allowing these sort of sleepy hormones, the mel mel melatonin, to release in your brain. Um, so it's it's sort of allowing less light into uh, into your eyes, into your brain, and allowing those those cues for your body to sort of prepare for sleep. So it's called Night Shift Mode, and like I said, it's in the blog post because I'm trying to show you on here. The screen's being a bit iffy. You want another banana? And by a banana, you mean orange? Do you mean this kind of banana? You do mean that kind of banana. Right, the next tip I have for you is if, you know, you've got your dark room and your children finally allowed you to go to sleep and you just can't fall asleep. I've got something of a fail-safe option. And it's hypnotizing yourself to sleep. That's right. Now, I talked a few weeks, I talked a few weeks ago about um, an audio book called The Rabbit Who Wants to Fall Asleep. Um, do you want this? I just do not want that. I talked a few weeks ago about the book called The Rabbit Who Wants to Fall Asleep. It's like hypnosis for sleep hypnosis for children, which when my little ones are being really difficult and don't want to sleep, it kind of works, you know? No, darling, there isn't any more. We're going to have to give you more snacks now. You're not going to eat lunch, are you? Right. You come and say hello to everyone, Grumpy Bums. So, oh yeah, there you are, you're saying hello. How lovely. If you eat that orange on Mummy's lap, it's going to go all over Mummy, isn't it? You want to eat this banana? That's an orange. No? Which one do you want then? You're not normally quite this grumpy, Zaza. The problem is there's a fruit bowl right there, so she's taking over. Right. Back on track, people! <laughs> okay, so there is um, an app that I use. Um, there's, a, there's a couple I use actually. One of them is, is the, the Penna one, and it's called I Can Make You Sleep. Um, no, she doesn't need to be her bottom. Um, Sorry guys, I'm just going to get the word in edge Do you want milk? Milk, milk, Yeah, okay, there we go. You're going to tell everyone you want milk? Bella, Sarah, do you want milk? Do you? Is that what I say, milk? Do you want milk? Yes. You did the sign, didn't you? Milk? Yeah, okay. Right, excuse me, just have to feed the baby. Maybe... At least one of them will be quiet then. Hey, mom. Feeding it. Right. Hey, mom. Thank you, darling. Just put it down, sweetheart. Put it down. Let me stick your sound to two. Right, put it down. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I think we're away. Um, right. Oh, Zara. For the sake. For the sake. No, we're not. There we go. Right. Okay, and I'm back in the room. So, uh, what was I saying? The sleepy apps. Okay, I've got a few here. One of them is called the Paul McKenna I Can Make You Sleep, which is this one. Let me turn around and show you now. You can actually have a word in it, right? So the baby's feeding. Right, it's this one, and it's I Can Make You Sleep. So if you look on the blog post, it's on there. And basically, he does like a hypnotic sleep trance. There are a few, and to be honest, they all send you to sleep. There's like I Can Make You Thin, so there's one where he just like tells you that you you just want to eat smaller portions and um, and that works too and that helps you fall asleep. Um, my hypnobirthing ones used to help me fall asleep if you're pregnant. The hypnotherapy, like 
that you listen to the hypnobirthing ones. I have no idea what they say to you because you can't stay awake through it. Um, then the other one I use is this one that's quite good. It's called Relax and Sleep Well. Um, and there are several different choices on there that you can choose from, all these different things that you want this guy to, to hypnotize you into doing. But basically, all of them, whether you want um, some positive affirmations about being more confident or being more organized or just, you know, the one about deep sleep, all of them help you fall asleep. So if you're really, really struggling to fall asleep, there are loads and loads of apps out there. Have a look on the blog, just have a look on the app store about sleep hypnosis apps because they really, really help. And in fact, I dare you to stay awake all the way to the end. And if you can stay awake all the way to the end of one of those hypnosis things, let me know what they say because I don't know. I always fall asleep. So. Uh, okay, have I got anything else I wanted to say? I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say today. So that's kind of what I wanted to cover. It's just keep the the bedroom super dark. Only sort of go to your bedroom when you are ready to sleep. Or do other things before, you know, adult things before sleeping. But stay, keep everything else out the bedroom. Don't take your work to the bedroom. Mom, Try and avoid the devices. In there. What's in there, Jenny? Um, the baby. That's fine. Just leave it there. Because I've got um, no more stickers on. Okay, sweetheart. That's fine. Right. Um, she's put a sticker sheet in the bin. Um, so, yeah. Just keep every keep your devices out of the bedroom if you can. And if you must use your devices, your um, your computers, your iPads, iPhones, before bed, see if you can get them shift, uh, switched onto that night shift mode because that will make sure that the, the colour tones aren't going to be too um, intrusive with your um, your hormone and your your hormones and the um, the lack of light will allow those sleep inducing hormones your melatonin to uh, just tell your body it's time to sleep and then you're more likely to actually sleep and if you really still can't fall asleep try the hypnosis thing um, now obviously a lot of this stuff works for little ones as well so if you can avoid for your babies and toddlers if you can avoid screen time before bed then that is really important and you make sure their bedrooms are absolutely pitch black. Now, um, blackout blinds obviously are good for adults and children's rooms, but if you really want your children's rooms, I've said this one before, I think it's a um, super top tip. If you want your rooms to be really blacked out, um, <laughs> it doesn't make it terribly pleasant during the day, but you just take your tin file and stick it to the inside the window, then that will black out the window totally. Now, I think it's time for me to go. So, oh, well done, darling. If you guys have stuck with me all the way till now and you've watched all the way till here, what can I say? Thank you, because girlies, you've not been as cooperative as you might sometimes are, have you? Not been terribly cooperative this morning. So we're going to say goodbye to everyone now, aren't we? There we go. Oh, there we go. Helen says she completely agrees. Oh, Dara's waving bye-bye. Uh, there we go. Yeah, um, in fact, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to very quickly, before I sign off, I'm going to very quickly see if I can have a look at the comments on my iPad uh, to see if there's anything I've missed. Okay, there we go. So yeah, phones before bedtime. If we can avoid those, then that's, um, that's definitely a must. So thank you so much for watching. Apologies, it's been a bit crazy. And please, let me know in the comments if you would prefer me to switch. So we normally do Facebook Live 10 o'clock on a Wednesday. Which I used to have one of them home with me, but now Belle's home with me too because she, her after, her, no, she's been moved to the afternoon. So would it be more helpful for you guys if I move my Facebook Live to a time when the girls are napping? Or does all the realness provide entertainment? <laughs> right, Grandpa Buns, it's time to say bye-bye. Bella, say bye-bye to everybody. Zara, say bye. Can you say bye-bye? Wait, bye-bye. Can you say goodbye? Good girl. Bye, everybody.